Paul Flores missed a court appearance today while he recovered in the hospital from a prison attack. Flores was supposed to request Harold Misik represent him for the next phase of the case. Misik represented his father, Ruben Flores, during the trial. That hearing was postponed until September 28th after Flores was attacked at Pleasant Valley State Prison in Coalinga yesterday. He was transferred to the facility less than a week ago to serve a 25 years to life sentence for the murder of Cal Poly student Kristen Smith in 1996. KSBY talked with Misik this afternoon about what happened. Uh, give us an update on uh, Paul and what happened with him and why he wasn't in court today. What I understand is yesterday he was attacked uh, in the yard at Pleasant Valley Prison. Um, he was cut on the neck. Uh, he had to be airlifted to a trauma center. I don't know which one, but I think there's only one there. Flores was initially listed in, in serious condition, but his condition was upgraded to fair today, and he is expected to be released back to Pleasant Valley State Prison. Trace Milan is a local defense attorney not connected with the Flores case, but is familiar with prison protocol. He says while prison officials aren't expected to be able to control every fight in the facility, they can be held liable if they don't take steps to protect inmates from known threats. But they would need to assess how he became victimized and then make a decision about what it would take to, to separate him from risk of further injury. Flores' attorney Harold Misek says he expects Flores will be placed in the prison infirmary to recover and then a decision will be made about any protective custody necessary in the future. Flores is expected to make a full recovery.